What's up guys? How's everybody doing on this lovely Tuesday afternoon? Hopefully everybody's doing wonderfully blessed. It's your boy Hammer G coming at you to let you know what's going on in the wild wild west of crypto land guys. Today's video we're going to be looking at the charts and see what's going on with uh, Dogecoin and some new levels of resistance and support. Then we're going to look at a couple positive catalysts right? Some articles right from Gen Z talking about why they invest in Doge and why they believe in it and the technology behind it and also uh, briefly touch on the CT, uh, CTO, the CEO of uh, FTX Derivative Exchange talking about why he believes that uh, Doge is the asset of the year 2020 and 2021. Now, if all of that sounds good to you and you're new to the channel, please consider to like and subscribe. And don't forget, I do have a giveaway when we hit 1,000 subscribers. We're pretty close. Uh, we're about 300 shy. I will be breaking somebody off uh, $300 of some free crypto. Now, if you're new to the channel and you lack free crypto, what you waiting for, my Hit that subscription bell and turn it on to all so you can be notified at all times. And none of this is financial advice. It's just me yip yapping on YouTube. Nothing more, nothing less. Now let's get it. All right. Now, let's just briefly see what's going on with the markets, guys. As you can see, good old Papa Bitcoin. He's in the green. What? We are at 32,729. It is up 0.36 for the day. That is good, guys, considering that we were down all the way to 29,300. Right, we have a 24-hour high. I apologize, guys, if you hear that dog barking in the background. It's my neighbor's dog. I can't control it. I apologize. I'm outside. Had to sneak away to make the video for my kids. <laughs> all right, 24-hour uh, high of 33,179. 24-hour low of 29,327. All right, guys, now everybody's thinking that the ship is, the Titanic is sinking. It is completely over. Uh, uh, digital assets are, are just a bubble, and they're going away. Blah, 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 as we always hear, right? You got China banning mining from uh, the miners out of... China, which is a good thing in my opinion, guys, right? Because we don't want so much power in one location, right? Mining Bitcoin, right? Because that can actually be a negative thing. So this is actually a positive thing in my opinion, right, guys? Hopefully those miners will come to America, Iceland, wherever it may be. But you know what I mean? It's, it's a good thing in my opinion, all right? So we have a market cap sitting at uh, $610.5 billion. And volume in the last 24 hours is at $61.3 billion. Now let's get into the main... Uh, Main subject of the day, Dogecoin. Guys, we have came down two notches. Now we were at six uh, on coin market cap. Now we're uh, currently ranking number eight or number, uh, yeah, number eight. It is what it is, right? It's nothing Doge is doing, guys. There's just been positive catalyst after positive catalyst. It's just the overall crypto markets. A lot of people are scared. You have a, a lot of uh, new retail investors, a lot of paper hands, right? They're scared. They don't know how to. I don't know how to hodl, right? They're not true diamond hands. Now we are currently down seven point six three percent. We're at 19 cents right now, guys. We are currently have a 24-hour high of 21 cents, 24-hour low of 17 cents. Market cap is sitting at 24.8 billion. Um, volume has gone way up, guys. Uh, in the last 24 hours, we're sitting at 7.12 billion. Because just considering, like two days ago, we were like at 1.03 billion dollars. So we've gone up a little over six billion dollars in the past like two days, which can call, uh, create buying pressure, which is a great thing, right, guys? Now we just need the price of Bitcoin, Bitcoin, the price of Dogecoin to go up as well. But enough of all that, guys. Now, let's look at the charts and see what's going on with the charts real quick. Right as we look at these new levels of resistance and support. Ah, I knew it. Uh, my backyard acts, uh, my reception on my phone is kind of shitty sometimes, guys. So, sorry. I had the chart out already, so it's going to be lagging a second here. So, bear, bear with me. Hopefully, you guys are having a wonderfully blessed day, guys, wherever you're at in this beautiful world that we live in. All right, let me shrink myself up here too. Let me get my handsome face out of there. Okay, guys, so uh, for those of you that don't know, I like to look at the weekly chart, guys. So every single one of these candles will represent a week, guys, for those of you that don't know. Okay, so we're going to be looking here at the weekly chart. Okay, let me make this a little bigger. Now let me get my drawing mechanism here. Okay, guys, so as you can see, okay, now this red weekly candle that is right above FX Empire, okay, so now... I am gonna draw. Uh, I am gonna draw a line from right there. Okay, now you see this white line, guys, right at the very bottom of the of the uh, chart. So now it's from the weekly candle as of current to the weekly candle from uh, nine weeks ago, guys, right? Which is roughly about two and a half week, two and a half months ago. So about two and a half months ago. This area of 16 cents was a level of support. That is why, if you check on my videos that I have made in the last two videos, yesterday and the day before, I had been calling 16 cents as a level of support. And, lo and behold, yesterday and today, 
16 cents held for support right guys because it was 25 cents and then we dipped below it right and i had called that 16 cents would be level of support and nonetheless it acted as a strong level of support the bulls stepped in and bought the dip at the 16 cents not allowing it to go any lower so i say all that to say this guys new level of support is at 16 cents why guys because as of today right as of today and as of like I said, about nine weeks, nine months ago, nine months ago, nine weeks ago, we had um, tested this area for support as well, 16 cents. So that's how I came up with the conclusion by looking at the charts and giving you guys this level of support at 16 cents. Now, as far as resistance goes, now, in my opinion, guys, it's between 22 and 23 cents area, guys, and I'll draw a line here. So as you see, I'm right underneath this wick right here. Okay, now you see this little channel, this little box that I got on the bottom of the chart here, guys, right? So, in my opinion, we're pretty much going to be kind of bouncing around this area, consolidating for now. For those of you that don't know what consolidating means, that just means trading sideways, basically boring action, right, guys? It's kind of in this box area here. It's going to be ranging anywhere, you know what I mean, from as low as 16 cents to possibly up to 23 cents. But as for now, we've kind of just been dipping between... uh like 18 and 19 cents right guys so i say all that to say this okay as we look at the chart 16 cents level of uh support and around the 22 23 cents area is, an, is the new level of resistance okay in my opinion okay guys and this box right here is where we're going to probably be kind of just consolidating until things hopefully get better and we'll have a, a break to the upside and not to the downside hopefully okay guys so that's what i have as far as looking at the charts and the technicals i like to keep it easy and breezy guys on this channel so now let's get into a little bit of the fundamentals here right guys i don't want to take up too much of your time because i know i can yip yap uh, a lot i like to talk guys <laughs> okay there's a lot of gold nuggets in this article here guys right guys um i'm gonna just touch on a couple uh paragraphs here that stand out to me but you should do your own research and read into this guys right because it explains on why they believe in crypto such as dogecoin and bitcoin and why they choose crypto over traditional um investing such as you know wells fargo or morgan stanley bank okay now it says crypto is the future of financing why gen z is ditching traditional investments but with caution now it says dogecoin being very cheap is affordable it's easy to understand cryptocurrency investor kayla uh 24 says now it says the next generation of investors are super online instead of traditional investments many gen z and young millennial investors from teens to those in their early 20s are bullish on cryptocurrency and the technology that surrounds it two key words cryptocurrency technology guys that is the way the world is going guys we are moving towards uh, digital assets cryptocurrency and the technology that's behind it the, the DeFi, the blockchain you know what i mean uh nfts all of this stuff that is with uh related to cryptocurrencies guys it's the beginning stages in two to five years you're going to see that is what everything's going to be that's why a lot of these gen z and millennials believe in it and they invest in it why because they're smart right like i keep telling you guys man this is the early stages of like when the internet was right guys we have the opportunity us older people such as myself i'm 40 years old a lot of us older people are having a second opportunity, man, uh, of a lifetime to make life-changing wealth for us and our loved ones. Man, I'm jumping on this freaking, and I'm writing this to the promised land, man, and I want my subscribers and viewers as well. That's why I share this information with you guys and made this channel, guys, so you guys can be hip to the skip and be informed of all the up-and-coming events in cryptocurrency, right, guys? All right. It says, this includes digital coins and blockchains like Bitcoin, Ethereum, meme coins like Dogecoin, NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, and DeFi, right? Uh, decentralized finance. All of this is the way the world is going to revolve, guys, whether you guys like it or not. It says, some have, some have spent the bulk of their savings on these types of investments. Nearly half millennial millionaires have at least 25% of their wealth in cryptocurrencies, according to the new CNBC Millionaire Survey. More than a third of millennial millionaires have at least half half guys half of their wealth in crypto and about half own nfts why do they have uh some have 25 percent and up to half why because they truly believe in the technology behind it guys that is so key and so important in cryptocurrency it's the technology behind it right a lot of these older cats a lot of these old farts don't understand it that's why they talk shit about it because what is better if you don't know something and make yourself look stupid because you don't understand the technology it's better to just talk crap about it why because you don't understand it you know what i'm saying but if you just do your own research and understand it man this the, the technology behind crypto is freaking awesome that's why i stand behind it young investors also have taken part in recent meme stock rallies which occur when retail investors buy yada 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 okay it says now i want to this is key right here right one key reason it says when 
One reason young people have turned to alternative investments like crypto is simple. Many just don't trust traditional investment institutions. Why, guys? Because they don't have your best interest at heart, man. They, they, they have the interest of themselves and the company. You know what I mean? Because they're making money off of freaking fees and this and that, right? Being the middleman. And it's better if you could just be your own bank. And that's what, that is the beauty of, of cryptocurrency, guys. Digital assets. It allows you to be your own banking system. Right, guys? It says uh, they prefer to rely on their own research rather than use insights from traditional institutions like financial advisors from legacy firms. All right, guys. Now, I just wanted to show you guys. It says I am big on the technology. And that is one of the major things that stood out on this article. Right, guys? Is the technology. And that is why people talk shit because they don't understand the technology. Like people didn't understand the Internet when it first came out. Who thought that mofos were going to be staring at the freaking Internet for hours at a time? Look at us. YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Who freaking thought that we, or, or even Uber, who thought we'd be getting in the car with a stranger, right? Mom and dad told us, don't ever get in the car with a stranger. Look at us, guys. We get in the car with strangers, and we pay that freaking stranger to take us somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So the point I'm getting at, guys, is technology, right? If, if you are open-minded into the technology behind this, you will make money. But you got you to gotta spend money to make money, right? It says, although some young traders bet on all coins and attempt to turn a quick profit through uh, buying and selling, many plan to hodl their favorite cryptocurrencies for the long haul. In any crypto, you have those super strong network effects when people believe, believe in it so much that they're like, I am never selling because I believe in it. It's the future of finance. Rachel says, I see the long-term applicability and the use of crypto, she says, of her own plans to hodl. All right, guys. Now, you can go on and do your own research and continue to read in this article, right? It's, you know, get a bunch of articles, right, within the article, right? Distrust of traditional institutes, right? And it's breaking down why Gen Z and millennials don't trust that and why they uh, love memes, so on and so forth. I suggest you look at this article. There's a lot of key nuggets in it, guys, if you know how to look for them. Right, guys. So now let me close out. Uh, let me close out real quick with this last article here. Uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time, which I already probably have, because like I said, your boy likes a yip yap. Yep. Okay. So now we're gonna get into this one here, right, guys? I had another article, uh, guys, but stay tuned for later this evening. I will be dropping another video on Doge with some more uh, positive catalyst, guys. I like to keep you guys informed at all times. Now it says Dogecoin as an asset accurately reflects current current economic climate. Says FTX CEO. Mind you, this guy's a billionaire, guys. Okay. Now it says the CEO of derivative exchange FTX, Sam Bankerman, Fried called Dogecoin the asset of the year for 2021, 20 and 2021. That is huge, guys, you know what I mean? Because it is. Dogecoin was the freaking underdog of the year, right? Everybody was laughing at it, talking shit, even BitBoy Crypto, you know what I mean? Had to eat his own words, right? Because he was talking shit, not talking shit, right? But basically saying that, oh, it's going to go to like five cents or whatever and look at it now you know what i'm saying but he apologized and had to eat his words man sorry guys i'm coming up choppy i, I have shitty reception right here but anyways guys sorry there's an airplane in my background as well i live by the military base it says the ceo derivative exchange right he called it oh yeah i already said that guys now it says what happened it says dogecoin is the asset accurately reflects our current economic climate said the billionaire it says bankman fry said that dogecoin is the asset that we all have chosen that we all deserve for better or worse Right, and we do, guys, for better or worse. You know what I mean? And let me get out of here, guys. Let me get more over here, right? So I won't stop. I'm kind of coming in and out, guys. But, anyways, guys, you know what I mean? I just wanted to briefly touch on this article. You know what I mean? Because you have a multi billionaire CEO talking highly about Doge, calling it the asset of the year. And I truly believe and, and, and agree with them, right, guys? And I know a lot of us do. Well, guys, this is what I had for you, right? Some hopefully some positive catalyst, right, guys? Nonetheless. You know, the overall markets are trying to recover. You know, Bitcoin, as you see, is a little bit in the green. Uh, stay tuned for later this evening. Don't forget about my giveaway. About my giveaway. If you're new to the channel, please consider like and subscribe. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Your boy, Jaime G, is out to later. Peace.